come back in this lecture 8, I will continue on our discussion on linear step polymerization. Now, in, in uh, this lecture, I will cover these following topics. Now, in last lecture at the end, we discussed about the kinetics of linear step polymerization, where we used a external catalyst. We mentioned that the, we actually discussed about irreversible polymerization, which means that in this reaction, whatever small molecular condensate comes out, we actually were able to remove the condensate completely out of the system. So, the low molecular condensate were removed completely. And for a simplest case, we considered AB, AB type monomer or an equivalent mixture of AB and BB. So, that concentration A is equals to concentration B and we considered that as C and we found that degree of polymerization was equals to 1 plus C naught K T, K is the rate constant and C naught was the concentration of functional group at time 0. And we also said that this uh, was experimentally verified and the, the result in experiment was, uh, was matching with the expected data. This uh, y was x n and this was time. So, the result of the experiment was uh, verifying uh, matching the expected data quite nicely except the very low conversion region or low degree of polymerization region. After that it basically matched very well. Now, let us there could be another possibility where we will consider a case when there is the no external catalyst is catalyst are added. Some of the functional group present can act as catalyst by itself. So, we call these reactions at self catalyzed reaction. So, our conditions are same that we considering that no low molecular condensates are present in the reaction mix mixture and the ratio of molar ratio of two functional group is 1 is to 1 and no external at least is added from outside. So, in that case rate of polymerization is rate of disappearance of the functional groups which is given by a rate constant and concentration of the functional groups plus catalyst. Now, in this case one of the functional groups let us say A group is behaving as self catalyst. So, we are putting instead of catalyst concentration we are putting it concentration of A group. So, it is A square B and considering that concentration of A and B are equal which is equal to C we can put this expression at like this C cube and then integrate and considering that C is C 0 or C naught at T is equal to 0 we get this expression. So, we can write this at degree of polymerization square 1 plus 2 C naught square K dash K dash T. This is a separate rate constant than the case where we use the external catalyst from outside. Now, this is also experimentally verified and in this case also we are writing in this case x n square and this is time in minute. This is experimental data for uh, adipic acid plus ethylene glycol at 166 degree centigrade. Now, in this case also 
you can see the experimental data actually matches quite well with the expected uh, result except the initial part where the number of degree of polymerization is quite low which means that the assumption we made that equal reactivity of functional groups and in that we assume that the reactivity of functional group were independent of the size of the chain at which we have the functional group present at the end. That is quite valid with the experiment except the very initial case where we have few monomers which actually got attached. So, the degree of polymerization is quite low. So, our assumption of equal reactivity of functional group actually quite valid. Now, if we compare the results from external catalyzed reaction, we had this expression. Now, so given choice, we will always prefer external catalyzed reaction because it is a much faster reaction. For example, if we increase the time of reaction by 4 times, x n square or degree of polymerization square actually increases approximately 4 times. So, degree of polymerization actually increases by 2 times. Whereas, in this case, if we increase the reaction time by 4, then degree of react degree of polymerization also increases by 4. So, for increasing same amount of degree of polymerization, we need to run the reaction much longer time in the case of self catalyzed reaction. So, the conclusion from these two comparison is that given a choice, we always prefer external catalyzed reaction because this is a much faster reaction compared to the self catalyzed reaction. Now, we will consider in last kinetics, we considered that it was irreversible polymerization, no small molecular condensate like water or methanol which comes out during the reaction are present in the reaction mixture. But it is actually impossible to take out everything from the reaction mixture because of lot of engineering issues. And so, actually when we in last case we actually did not consider the backward reaction at all, but most cases in case of step, step in case of polymer step polymerization if we consider monomers to polymers actually it is reversible. Now, because we we are removing the small molecular condensate from the reaction mixture the backward reaction is not happening, but as I mentioned that because we cannot remove the condensate completely. So, there is always a possibility of backward reaction is happening. So, we will consider that and see how presence of small molecular condensate in the reaction mi mixture affect the molecular weight or degree of polymerization of the resulting polymer. Now, first let us begin with that we are doing the reaction in a closed system. So, no condensate is taken out of the system. So, for first case we will consider that reversible polymerization that means we there is a possibility of monomer to polymer formation and polymer to monomer formation and in the first case we are just considering the closed system. So, a polymerization in which the monomers and polymers are in equilibrium is referred to as equilibrium polymerization or reversible polymerization. In this case we are doing it a closed system that means the monomers and polymers are in equilibrium during the entire reaction. So, we call this as a reversible polymerization. So, we first consider the acid catalyzed 
reaction and let us consider that uh, we are looking um, we are synthesizing a polyester by reacting with hydroxyl group and carboxylic group and this is the reaction between acid group and um, alcohol group resulting ester and water. Now, in this case we are doing in a closed system. So, no water molecule is taken out of the reaction mixture. So, in this case we will consider equilibrium constant. So, equilibrium constant will be given by the concentration of ester group on water and divided by the concentration of acid group and alcohol group. Now, at equilibrium if we consider the extent of polymerization is P e. So, the amount of or the concentration of C o and H 2 would be the extent of functional groups reacted into the initial concentration of functional group. So, P e into C naught which is uh, so which would be squared because of 2 term and in this case we have initial concentration minus the the functional group which are reacted. So, this is the current present at time t this is the or at equilibrium this is the concentration of individual functional groups. So, we square these things. Now, if you can rearrange this thing you will find that the concentration of or the um, conversion at equilibrium is given by this expression where k is the equilibrium constant for this reaction. And if we just uh, rearrange it, we will get degree of polymerization is given by 1 plus k to the power half. Now, if we consider this expression 1 plus x n is equal to 1 plus k to the power half, and if we plug in those number in the expression, we get this numbers that if k is very low we almost get no polymerization in case k is 1 we get only degree of polymerization is only 2 only half of the functional groups are reacted in equilibrium or at equilibrium and as we increase the value of equilibrium constant we get higher conversion and higher degree of polymerization. So, we so but most cases the reactions we use for step growth polymerization are not having high k value they are of in the region between say 1 to 81 in this region. So, basically if we do the reaction in equilibrium condition without taking the small molecular condensate out we are not going to make or synthesize any high molecular weight polymer. So, in this case we must remove at least one of the products to the so that the forward uh, products of the forward reaction so that the equilibrium is uh, driven towards uh, high molecular weight and most cases it is very difficult to remove the polymer. So, we actually take out the small molecular condensate. So, except in a minority of systems a step polymerization must be carried out as an open and driven system. A open system means we drive out the one of the product of polymerization and in this case uh, we generally prefer to remove the small molecular weight because which is, that is easier to remove compared to the polymer from the reaction mixture. And that is why by product it can be removed by a combination of temperature, reduced pressure or purging by inert, inert gas. So, we actually we increase the temperature of the reaction mixture. So, that the temperature is actually above the boiling point of the condensate and we can apply vacuum from outside we can apply, apply reduced pressure and also by purging uh, inert gas we can remove the condensate out of the reaction mixture. So, we agree that we should be doing the reaction in a open driven system. Now, what is the consequence of a open system and what is the consequence of incomplete removal of the small molecular condensate. Now, in this case again we have the k value we can calculate now we do not have in equilibrium. So, we write 
the conversion into the um, we are taking this out. So, so whatever left at a certain time we are putting this concentration at within H2. H2 is the byproduct in the polyester polyesterification reaction which we are discussing as a example. So, we can put the these uh, values with respect with as this and so we can just rearrange to get that degree of polymerization is related to the leftover H2 concentration in the medium with this expression. So, for a given k if we increase the amount of H2O remaining in the medium the degree of polymerization will come down. So, basically we should try to make whatever possible maximum possible to get remove the small molecular condenser to increase the molecular weight of the polymer. Let us see the consequence of this remaining H2O in the system. The first rows are basically when you do in um, closed condition we do not remove anything. So, if the my if the k value is 1 then if we do in a closed system we will get the degree of polymerization is 2 and the concentration of H2 remaining is 2.5. Remember we are considering in this table we are considering that the initial concentration of functional groups are 5 moles per liter. So, half of the H2 or half of the reaction has happened. So, actually half of H2 has come out. Now, if you see in this case to make a polymer with a degree of polymerization of 100 which is a quite reasonable number you know below this 100 we do not practically have uh, do not have polymers which are have significant properties. To build a polymer having xn of 100 we need to reduce the water concentration in the reaction me medium to this level 5 into 10 to the power minus 4 which is quite low. So, unless we can reduce the H2 concentration in the system to this level we cannot build a degree of polymerization of 100 when the k value is 1. If we increase the k value to 16 then we can afford to keep little higher amount of H2O. So, in this case it will be H2O a 8 into 10 to the power minus 3. So, this table shows you that if I my if the k value of the reaction is higher and higher then we probably will be afford to keep a, low, a higher amount of H2O in the reaction mixture to build high molecular weight. But as I said that typical value of the reactions involved in step polymerization of are, are of this region which means that we have to remove the small condensate in the reaction to, to a quite a low to a low uh, concentration. So, at that means my evacuating system has to be very high like we have to apply a high strong vacuum we have to do the reaction in a quite a high temperature. So, that we can effectively remove the remove the water or other condensate from the reaction mixture. So, you now realize from this table and from this uh, equations that we if we want to make high molecular weight polymer in step polymerization we need to reduce we have two options we need to reduce the value of uh, the small condensate in the reaction mixture to to extremely low or we have to choose a reaction which are very high k now generally this uh, high k values are uh, difficult to achieve unless we do some um, changes in the monomer which I will just give a example in a minute. So, 
So, we must the small molecule condensate must uh, be taken out and generally this small molecular for in this case say water for polyesterification reaction they must they must diffuse through the reaction mixture and taken out of the reaction mixture. So, basically they if they are producing when the reaction is happening the reaction happening through the bulk that means say if your H 2 is producing it is also producing in the bulk. So, but we cannot take the H 2 which produce in the bulk directly from there. So, what we need the H 2 need to diffuse through to the surface and from there it can be removed. So, for that the you know if the viscosity of the medium polymerization medium is very high and which may happen if the polymer molecular weight is quite high then the viscosity might be quite high. In that case no matter what is your suction capability or what is the low pressure you apply it cannot take out the water molecule or other small molecular condensate because it is limited by the diffusivity of the molecules through the high molecular polymer melt or polymer mixture which is present. So, that might happen and that is uh, becomes so the polymerization can become diffusion control under this condition means when the the reaction mixture is very high viscosity and that happens if I have a very high conversion. So, the polymerization can become diffusion control under these conditions and so the polymerization rate or the molecular weight can be controlled by rate of diffusion of the small byproduct. So, that means it is very high conversion or very high molecular weight region because of the high viscosity the reaction can become a diffusion control reaction. Now, if we in in every probability that everybody uh, will try like uh, when you are doing a reaction in a, uh, in a in a in a in a plant or in a reaction medium we always try to take the small molecular out by applying vacuum from outside or small molecule or, or app, uh, applying high temperature. Now, there is a limit to which it can be done you know you know the engineers will try to build uh, reactor design differently. So, that or the starting mechanism because if you can start properly then you can generate lots of new surfaces during the reaction. So, that the, the condensate can be taken out properly. So, that is engineering aspect can be altered and maximum effort can be made to increase or reduce the amount of condensate in the reaction medium. But sometimes there is a limitation also you know no matter how you design the reactor what is the condition you apply temperature and stirring it cannot be it cannot be uh, reached that so le low level of uh, concentration um, of the molecule especially because when it becomes diffusion control. So, in that case as in it is responsible to the chemist to design monomer differently. So, that you can uh, increase the k value. Now, if you increase the k value then you can afford to have little higher value of the small condensate in the reaction medium to build a high molecular weight. I will give you one example say just take a example of uh, bisphenol A polycarbonate. Bisphenol A is polycarbonate is synthesized by reaction of a ester exchange reaction of this bisphenol A molecular with diphenyl carbonate using a base, cat base catalyst producing this uh, polycarbonate.
phenyl is the byproduct in this case. Now, phenyl melting point is is at uh, sorry boiling point is boiling point is uh, BP is 180 degree centigrade. So, the reaction is carried out at above 180 degree in fact, much higher temperature. So, that uh, this phenol can be taken out easily by applying uh, vacuum. Now, the K of this reaction in a closed system is approximately equals to 1. So, that means, if I want to make a molecular weight or degree of polymerization of 100, we need to reduce the concentration of phenol to a level of 5.05 that is in the table which we discussed earlier moles per moles per liter inverse. So, that means, this is the amount or concentration of phenol should be reduced to get a value of x n to 100. Now, as I discussed it sometimes it is not possible no matter what is the uh, your reactor design or condition you do. So, what is done we we need to change the chemistry if, if we can change the chemistry and increase this k value then probably with a lower amount of or a higher amount of phenol we can actually build this. How to do that? We can actually see uh, we can change the uh, design of the monomer. Now, this reaction happened by the reaction attack of the phenolate. Remember we did do the reaction in in presence of base. So, base actually takes out the OH H minus from the bisphenol A make it a phenolate ion and this actually do a nickel flick attack and we get this product I am not drawing. Now, so if we can increase this uh, tendency of nickel flick attack by increasing the electrophilicity of this carbon then obviously, we can increase the k. Now, how to do that? If we increase if we can increase the electrophilicity we do by one of the strategy we take Now, if we have electron withdrawing group in the ortho positions, then we can actually we had phenol earlier. Now, if we add some electron strong electron withdrawing group at ortho position, then actually we can increase the electrophilicity of this carbon as a result the attack of the phenolate will be much easier or much more probable and as a result the reaction or the k value of this reaction goes up. So, this is the example how a chemist come in the picture polymer chemist come in the picture to design the monomer and the reaction to increase the k whereas, the engineering people or engineer engineers come to change the design reactor or the condition of the reaction to reduce the level of uh, condensate like water or phenol to the lower level. So, combination of this actually gives you a higher a higher value of degree of polymerization. So, we will move to now we know how to increase the molecular weight or uh, how to control the molecular weight by adding uh, tweaking the spoisometry or adding the chain stopper and what is the limitation of step linear step growth polymerization. And just we will give you some example what are the typical processes is the linear step polymerization are carried out. It can be carried out in a solvent that dissolves the monomers or the polymers uh, produced, but it is always difficult to uh, find a solvent which can dissolve both polymers as well as uh, uh, the monomers because polymers often are semi crystalline and have low solubility. And also after the reaction 
the isolation of polymer also from the solvent is also uh, a, a difficult is a cumbersome cost effective step. So, most polymerizations are carried out in reacting the liquid monomers together in absence of a solvent like in male polymerization or in bulk okay. and that has two advantage that it reduces the formation of cyclics and also it increases the reaction rate. Sometimes we also this interfa interfacial polymerization also are employed to in, in, in uh, step polymerization to, to uh, synthesize uh, high molecular um, polymers. Some example, I quickly go through this list because uh, you just this is for information, information purpose, you do not have to remember all this uh, structure and processes, this just for uh, information purpose. So, this is uh, we are talking about polyether phthalate this is the uh, standard reaction can be used for making poly uh, ether um, polyethylene terephthalate and this is the commercial generally applied commercial route i'm not going in the detail in fact in this case uh, the, the this synthesized typically is done two step first step the ex, uh, this terephthalic acid is reacted with excess uh, ethylene glycol and uh, H2 or H2 and the exethylene ethylene glycol is taken out of the system and then this, this molecule is taken at to a high temperature and then to form the polyethylene terephthalate. And polyethylene terephthalates are sold in the market use at with various trade names like uh, terylene, dacron, mylar and so on. Similarly, polyamides uh, are known as uh, in, uh, in this particular case 9166, this, this is the standard synthetic method. Again, I am saying that this is just for information purpose, that is why I am going little fast in these slides. And typically, in a commercial setup, actually um, at the first step, 9166 salts are produced, which is then which are which is actually taken out of the system and purified and then in the second step it is heated at around 277 degree centigrade to make 9166. Similarly, bisphenol A polycarbonate as I said, I gave the example in the last uh, uh, slide or last page that we typically done either by male polymerization by reacting with bisphenol A with uh, diphenyl carbonate or in interfacial polymerization by reacting bisphenol A uh, with uh, phosgene and there are the trade names by which polycarbonate sold as lexan, macrolon and so on. And I will quickly go through this structure and these are the process. So, this is uh, aromatic polyamides, nomex and kelver, polysulfones, these are the structures, peak, peak uh, polyether sulfones, these are uh, the structure you can use. These are the trade name, typical trade names. The, the polyethylamide uh, structure is this and trade name is called Altem. So, with this I will uh, stop this and I will start in the next lecture just uh, summing up that uh, total step growth polymerization method, how to build high uh, molecular weight uh, in linear step polymerization.